Hello guys, so welcome to this quick video and I want to talk to you something really important. I create so many videos about speed optimization and do a lot of customization on website. And people are getting a lot of help with these videos. But the problem is they do not watch the complete video and they do not read the descriptions video. So today I will tell you how you can get most benefit out of these videos. And I will tell you the flow how you should do these things so your website do not break. And you have this smooth experience and you can do all these amazing things on your website. Okay, so you can see I've created so many videos. The most popular video is light speed caching. And a lot of people commented that their website got broke. I needed to create three videos that how you can troubleshoot your website and how you can fix if it broke. Not just light speed caching, but if you implement a lot of other tutorials or if you want to do something by yourself on your website or even you update your website. What happens sometimes your website breaks and then you are in panic to fix your website. Let me tell you what the best way to do all these things without a hassle. The first thing you need to do is create a staging or test website. Everything complicated you are going to do on your website, first do it on a staging website or a test website. Once everything goes well, then only you should do that on your live website. I created less than three minutes video about this thing that how you can set up a stage website. I highly recommend you to create a staging website and perform all the complicated actions there. So for this video, create a staging website. And this is a really nice habit for you to keep your website safe and always online. Okay, once you have created your staging website and you tested all the changes, then what you need to do is you need to create backup of a website. I created two simple videos. First is less than five minutes, second is six minutes. That how you can take backup of a website and you can restore your website within a few minutes if something goes bad. Always be prepared for the worst. You tested things on stage, works well, but you do on live website. In rare case, your website can change or it can break. So do not wait for the time. Always create a backup on your live website. So if something goes bad, you can quickly recover your website and then you further troubleshoot what went wrong. The last thing in this quick video is how to test your website. Sometimes people say they deactivated a plugin, but your website is not yet back. So in most of the cases, it's caching. So what you need to do first is, so log into your WordPress admin panel and then if you're using a cache plugin, clear all the caching. If you're using Lightspeed cache, you can clear cache like this. Or if you're using any other cache plugin, you can purge cache to see the effect. And if you're using Cloudflare, make sure you purge cache from Cloudflare too. And once you purge cache from everywhere, sometimes there's a cache on host also. So check your hosting panel if they got a cache. Clear the cache from there and then you can test your website. And how you need to test your website and where to test your website. If you test your website in the same browser, sometimes the cache will take time to change. And browser also has some cache version of your website. So if you deactivate your plugin, but your website still seems broke because of the browser cache. So what you need to do is, I prefer using Opera browser. So in Opera browser, right click and then open private window. And then from here, click on VPN and then click on the second to connect by VPN. By default, it will connect with the optimal location and then enter website URL. And now you can see the real version of your website. If you still do not see the changes, what you can do. And sometimes it's your network cache. So try after some time or try from different device, from different mobile phone or ask your friend or family to test your website. If you deactivate a plugin or remove the changes you have made, and is appearing nice on their devices or on a different computer, it means your website is fine. You do not need to panic. I hear all the time this comment that their website broke, they deactivated the plugin, but still not recovered. I tell to everyone, don't panic, it's just cash. If you deactivate a plugin or if you remove some plugin, your website will be back. And when you create a staging website and you have backups, all these compilations are really, really low. So if you want to have a nice website development experience, I highly recommend you to follow this tutorial. Save this tutorial for later. And guys, if you really want to learn such amazing content and improve your web skills, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel because I create quality videos on a lot of different topics like design, speed and security, which you'll not find anywhere else on YouTube. So I highly recommend you to subscribe to the channel. And if you want to know how to get 100 out of 100 page speed scores on your WordPress website, check out this video on screen. And if you want to know how you can get blood proof security for your website, check out this video on screen.